a new year begins. And with the fresh start comes frigid temperatures to start the opening round of the rally season. Undeterred, the drivers and co-drivers are ready to heat up the stages for another year. The defending champions will face a stacked field of challengers in addition to the brutal cold. And the snowbanks stand ready to collect anyone who gets it wrong. It's time to fire up the cars and start the 2023 Canadian Rally Championship at Rally Pers Neige. Forty below zero. That's how Manawaki, Quebec is greeting the teams for the start of Rally Pers Neige. But the drivers are ready for it. It's, it's going to be slippery. It's going to be cold. I'm going to stay inside the car. We came all this way. If we don't get any points, I'm going to be real upset. So I think it's partly not just about studs. It's about the tire compounds. They're going to work in this cold. And they cut them in a certain way. They do. They're real nerds, these mechanics. Like, they spend a lot of time doing all kinds of research. And I just go, I don't know. Does the gas pedal work? Does the steering wheel work? I'm good. I don't use the brake. Actually, the roads are perfect. Like for the last five years I've been here, it's my fifth edition. The most amazing roads I saw. Yeah, the conditions are cold for sure. I hope the mechanic will hold on. I'll probably lift the gas a little bit because it's starting. It's a start, so and I don't want to be in a snowbank and being stuck there with this cold. La patience, euh, je pense que c'est la clé du succès ici. Euh, bien roulé ce matin dans les petites spéciales puis. Euh, Après ça, sortir le jeu, le grand jeu dans, dans les grandes spéciales forestières. Bon, je pense qu'on va garder le, la même recette. C'est sûr qu'on a réussi quand même à avoir des bons résultats l'an dernier, mais surtout pour le premier événement de l'année, avec la température qu'on a aujourd'hui, on, on va y aller quand même euh, mollo, puis euh, on va s'arranger, trouver la, la, la grippe, trouver le feeling de l'auto, puis... Euh, Faire, faire un bon résultat à fin de la journée pour le, le premier événement aussi. Twenty eight teams will brave the cold to face almost 200 competitive kilometers over 18 stages covered with snow over ice. Deep snow banks will act like fly traps for those who push too hard. The Canadian Rally Championship is presented by Subaru Canada. Test Racing's Jerome Mayu and Philip Poirier will take to the stages with a whole new challenge to face, title defense. They earned their place on the Fiddler Cup through a combination of skill and perseverance in 2022, but repeating will take even more, a strategic mindset. Mayu is wasting no time dropping the hammer on the first stage and setting the pace to beat through the first loop. He's almost a second per kilometer faster than anyone else on stage one. Behind them, Mayu's teammate, Marc-Andre Brisebois, is making his highly anticipated comeback to the stages. The 2021 championship runner-up was forced to sit out the second half of the 2022 season due to an injury off the stages. Fully recovered and back in fighting form, Brisebois is back with Marie-France Demaray Trepignet calling the notes, and they are posting top five stage times in the first loop. Having ended their 2022 run with a second place finish at the Rally of the Tall Pines, Alexander Moreau and Ian Guité are looking to build on that success. Moreau's speed and skill has never been in question, but equipment troubles have kept him off the podium more often than not over the last few years. Tall Pines showed us what he can do with a clean run, and he's up to speed quickly on the morning stages. Former two-wheel drive champion Jason Bailey is now fully committed to all-wheel drive in his Fiesta RC3, but he's still getting the hang of it. He and co-driver Shane Peterson get away with this mistake on stage three, but then find the far side of a snowbank on stage five. Rally restart rules will allow them back on the stages, 
and the team will earn valuable experience in the new car, but they are out of contention. Definitely not how Bailey wanted to start the season. Another driver making a highly anticipated return to the stages is Simon Vincent. After just barely losing out the 2018 championship to Carel Carré, Vincent decided to try his hand at track racing. Now he's back after a successful run in the Centra Cup. There's clearly no rust to shake off, as Vincent and co-driver Hubert Goudreau are posting top five stage times in the first loop. They're keeping the veterans, Jean-Sebastien Besner and Yvonne Joyal, on their toes, but Besner is up for the challenge. Fresh off winning the Rally Sport Quebec Championship in 2022, Olivier Martel and Vincent Hubert are committed to the National Series in 2023. A couple of early mistakes knocked them out of the top five. In two-wheel drive, Mathieu Leblanc and Eric Dubé are back on the stages. This championship-winning team suffered a string of mechanical DNFs and decided to take a break in the second half of 2022 to sort out the car. In no time, they're back up to a class-winning pace, but so is Chris Greenhouse. Greenhouse and co-driver Ryan Scott have had more than their share of bad luck at Rally Parsonage and are looking for redemption today. Early six right, 75, four right, you're gonna stay in. The three left plus short, repeat four right, stay in. Three left plus short. The five right plus over Chris. A battle for the class lead quickly develops between LeBlanc and Greenhouse, while Curtis Duddy and Matthew Tupain, fresh off class wins at Rally Charlois and Tall Pines, hold steady in third, ready to collect the pieces should the veterans take each other out. After seven stages, Mayu is out to an early lead. Vincent is on top of a tight battle for second with Moreau and Besner. LeBlanc edges out Greenhouse for the two-wheel drive lead at the end of the first loop. The teams will reset at service and then face another tough loop of stages when we come back. Welcome to your 20-minute high-intensity workout. Pick up the cadence, regulate your breathing. Get ready for a climb, let's go. Okay, push it on the flats. Pick a number and get after it. Recovery in three, two, one. The all new WRX. Welcome back to Rally Pass Nege. Teams are still struggling with the extreme cold conditions as the cars return for the first service of the rally. On a peut-être quelque chose à l'arrière la, là, la voiture était, était, était plus nerveuse là, mais c'était pas c'était pas si mal là, malgré tout. Nous on va partir avec des vraiment des pneus de neige. Si ça aurait pas été le choix qu'on aurait fait là, si on n'aurait pas parti premier, on va y aller avec ces pneus là. C'est sûr que ça, ça va nous ralentir dans certaines portions. Puis euh, mais on veut y aller safe là, vu protéger notre avance là. Kids arrive, uh, in bad luck. Uh, it's super challenging, uh, icy roads of course, it's freezing, so it's hard in the car uh, also just to stay warm because those are rally cars and you don't have a lot of heat in them, so we're battling that and uh, I think in the end of the day that's going to be a challenge to stay uh, alert when the night comes. It's cold, but when you start racing, you don't feel it anymore, you know, so it's, on, it's just between the stages, it gets a little bit crispy, but other than that, I mean, uh, we are here so far and uh, cross the finger, everything's still going good. Well, we got a little hot into one corner and then just couldn't bring it back around. Uh, I was hoping the snowbank was a little firmer than it was, but it wasn't. It just sucked us in enough that we couldn't get out on our own. And then so we had to wait sweep for sweep to come and give us a little tug. Uh, now we got the, some longer stages out in the forest. We tend to do a lot better out there than we do in town, but we had a great loop in town. So uh, I, I think I'm the gotcha out in the forest right now. I think uh, I'm coming to get you. back out on the stages, and Mayu's gamble on snow tires is backfiring badly. The snow in the deep forest stages is deeper than it was on the roads closer to town, but it isn't deep enough to give the tread blocks on the snow tires purchase. The result? Mayu's car is dancing all over the place, and the situation is about to go from bad to worse. The 
lost time is already adding up, and Mayu and Poirier are falling down the leaderboard. Unfortunately, Simone Vincent and Hubert Goudreau can't capitalize on Mayu's mistake. They lose engine power with a dead coil, and then cut a tire on the infamous Tortue stage, forcing them to change its stage side. The time lost knocks them out of the top five. On the other hand, Alexander Moreau and Ian Guité are leveraging the drama ahead of them to good effect. Moreau posts the fastest time overall on two stages of the loop, moving up the leaderboard. He's mastering the next tool in the arsenal of any potential champion, and that's pace management. He's pushing where he can, and playing it smart when he has to. The result? Moreau takes the lead on stage 10. Jean-Sebastien Besner also tiptoes his Evo through all the trouble. He and co-driver Yvonne Joyal move up to second place by keeping it between the snowbanks. Olivier Martel and Vincent Hubert are back on the hunt after a few mistakes cost them time in the first loop. Smooth and fast, they win stage 11 outright, climbing five places on the leaderboard, now up to fifth. The battle in two-wheel drive is heating up. Leblanc and Dubay manage to open up their lead over Greenhouse and Scott on stages eight and nine. But then Greenhouse makes a tremendous push on stage 10, closing the gap back down to just one second. LeBlanc then redoubles his efforts and takes another 13 seconds out of Greenhouse on stage 11. This duel is either going to result in one of the closest finishes the class has ever seen or heartbreak for one of these drivers. Five left, or 100. Six right plus long, Titans five at the small crest. After 11 stages, Moreau holds the lead. Besner and Brisebois are battling for second. In two-wheel drive, LeBlanc ends the loop 14 seconds up on Greenhouse, but we still have half the rally left to run. There's still lots of stage action still to come at Rally Passage. After a tough loop of stages at Rally Passage, the teams of the Canadian Rally Championship are regrouping at service, and the defending champion isn't happy. Malheureusement, on n'a pas fait le bon choix de pneus. On a dû pousser fort là pour réussir à pas trop perdre de temps là, versus les, les autres personnes. Le dernier stage avant de venir au service, j'ai bloqué les roues d'un virage, puis on a resté pris là, dans le bas de neige, fait que ça a pris un bon moment s'en sortir. Rallye pas terminé, mais c'est sûr qu'on on a un bon retard. On va essayer de remonter au maximum. It was going so well until it, it was not going well. First, I was running on three cylinders for about 45 k's, and in that stage. I was going to do smooth lines and then went outside and I think there were only one Mama Rocks that was standing there, I hit it. I had to change the flat in the stage and then uh, that was it. We lost four minutes and uh, that's the way she goes. Euh, moi j'ai fait un, une crevaison, j'ai une pénalité, j'ai eu un, un trouble électrique. Quand euh, on est arrivé pour sortir du service cet après-midi, euh, on a perdu 10 minutes. Je continue à gérer ma course comme que je voulais. C'est ça que je trouve d'ailleurs le plus dur, c'est de ne pas trop attaquer et euh, garder un, une bonne vitesse quand même. Le tour va super bien, euh, à part qu'une crevaison puis le problème électrique qu'on a trouvé. Là, euh, on se croise les doigts là, pour finir la journée. Là. A little bit surprised, I would say, because we didn't feel we had the pace, but we end up having still the advance and gain back some time on Greenhouse too on the last stage. So, so far so good. Uh, like I say earlier, we still have to fight against the cold in the car. We're just happy to be at where we are right now. We had a goal coming from many DNF in the last years. Uh, we want to finish this rally, so I think we're going to go smart. Uh, of course, if we can win, we won't uh, say no, but uh, we're going to keep the battle, you know, Mathieu is in good shape, so far so good. Service complete, the teams head back out to face the forest stages again. The sun is setting, taking what little warmth and comfort it was lending to the rally with it. Despite their experiences on these stages, Alexander Moreau and Ian Guité find themselves in unfamiliar territory. 
leading a national rally. Finding the right pace when you're chasing someone is easy. Setting the pace to beat is much more difficult. When you add the defending champions into the mix, it becomes even harder. Jerome Mayu and Philippe Poirier are on maximum attack, rapidly climbing back up the leaderboard. But each car they pass makes the next one that much more difficult. They have a long way to go to reach the podium. And if that wasn't enough, Jean-Sebastien Besner and Yvonne Joyel have decided that sunset is the perfect time to mount an attack on Moreau. Moreau makes a big mistake on stage 13, and Besner keeps his foot welded to the floorboards, carving Moreau's lead down to just three and a half seconds. Marc-André Brisebois and Marie-France Demaray Trepigny are on a different strategy. Unwilling to be drawn into a costly battle in his first rally in six months, Brisebois adopts a smooth pace that holds them steady in third. In contrast, Olivier Martel and Vincent Hubert are still on a tear, making up ground and moving up to fourth behind Brisebois. What started as redemption drives for two teams has turned into one of the closest two-wheel drive races the Canadian Rally Championship has ever seen. LeBlanc Dubé's lead over Greenhouse and Scott shrinks by four seconds on stage 12. Before LeBlanc can respond, Greenhouse doubles down and takes another 22 seconds on stage 13, taking the class lead by 13 seconds. LeBlanc pushes back hard on stage 14, closing the gap back down to five and a half seconds by the end of the loop. Keep a point forward, there you go. Wow, did we get away with Yeah, we did. Holy <laughs> in the front of the camera. Okay, crest in the four right opens very long. 14 stages down, four to go. Moreau reopens the gap to Besner, but by just 30 seconds. Brisebois is under attack by Martel for third. Mayu has climbed back to fifth. One more quick service, then it's back out to the stages once more. Personage is personage, so it's always a tough event. Section with a lot of grip, double section, it's really glacé, it's hard to adjust and keep a good momentum. Our goal is to really finish today. It's been a few rallies that we've done DNF. I know I'm capable of riding, I could push more than that, but I want to finish because I want to let the karma take us. Oh, you guys know me well enough right now. I'm not here for second place. I am going for the win. And he is too. It's the final loop of stages at Rally Parsnege when we come back. Welcome to your 20 minute high intensity workout. Pick up the cadence, regulate your breathing. Get ready for a climb, let's go. Okay, push it on the flats. Pick a number and get after it. Recovery in three, two, one. The all new WRX. The air is still frigid, but the stages are hot for one final loop at Rally Pass Neige. The Canadian Rally Championship is presented by Subaru Canada. Leading the teams into the stages for the final leg, Alexander Moreau and Ian Guitay know that they have four challenging stages to go and a lead of 30 seconds to manage. They've had third place finishes. They earned second place at the Rally of the Tall Pines. There's only one more step on the podium and they're closer than they've ever been. Jean-Sebastien Besner isn't going to make things easy for them. He and co-driver Yvonne Joyal have done Rally Parsonage enough times to know when to push and when to hold, and the deep night stages often result in ruin for up-and-coming hopefuls. They lose a few seconds to Moreau on stage 15, but refuse to get drawn into making costly mistakes. By contrast, Olivier Martel and Vincent Hubert are on fire through the night stages. They leapfrog ahead of Marc-André Brisebois and Marie-France Demaray Trepigny despite a few close calls, moving up to third place.
With their goal having shifted from winning to collecting as many points as possible, Jerome Mayu and Philippe Poirier also put it all on the line in the night stages, moving up to fourth. In goes Saint-Cot. Suivi d'un gauche 4 Milan. Brisebois and Demarie Trepignier play it smart, prioritizing finishing their first rally together in six months. A small error prompts Brisebois to decide that fighting with their test racing teammates would be costly. They settle for fifth while bringing the car home in one piece. It may not be the finish they were hoping for, but Simone Vincent and Hubert Goudreau still earn valuable championship points in sixth place. If the battle in two-wheel drive gets any hotter, we're going to have to call the fire department. LeBlanc and Dubé push hard and retake the lead on stage 15 by seven seconds. Greenhouse and Scott fire back on stage 16, taking four seconds back. The split now just three seconds. LeBlanc finds even more speed and reopens the gap to 11 seconds. But LeBlanc isn't the only one with gas left in the tank and Greenhouse throws down harder than he ever has before on the final stage. In the end, LeBlanc is victorious, but by only 4.7 seconds after an entire day of rallying. At the top, Moreau and Guité managed to maintain the winning pace, holding off Besner and Joyal and earning their first ever national victory. Martel and Hubert will round out the first podium of the 2023 championship. Mayu and Poirier managed to climb back to fourth, earning valuable championship points. A steady drive earns Duddy and Toupin the chance to spray champagne with LeBlanc and Dubé and Greenhouse and Scott on the two-wheel drive podium. Exactly a rally like we like, you know. Competition, it's close, one other, uh, seconds behind everybody. What can you ask more? But for us today, the goal was to finish the rally. Uh, and luckily, at the same time, we end up winning it. I said I didn't come here for second place. Now, that's what I'm going to leave with. Not terrible in this situation, given the fight we had with Matthew LeBlanc. Really a good fight. Why don't we do this again sometime? <laughs> Merci à tout le monde qui, qui était présent aujourd'hui aux bénévoles qui ont bravé le froid. Magnifique journée, ça finit avec une belle neige, puis euh, on est très heureux. Better be safe than sorry sometimes. I just wanted to make it to the end. I had a, a good uh, lead in front of third place, so uh, there was no way for me to push and try to, uh, to catch Alex. And I'm so happy for him for his first national win. En première position, Alexandre Moreau et Ian Guité. J'ai pas de mots, vraiment content. Premier national, gagner un national, c'est spécial. Puis euh, on fait un très beau travail, une longue journée. Les conditions étaient changeantes, c'était vraiment difficile. Euh, Jauger entre la vitesse et euh, rouler safe. On a eu froid dans la voiture. Puis écoute, on s'est rendu à la fin. Euh, on pouvait pas demander mieux. The teams of the Canadian Rally Championship will have the chance to warm up and reset before facing their next challenge on the ridge roads of the Rocky Mountain Rally near Radium, British Columbia, on the first weekend in June. We will see you then.